My name is Daniel Navarro. And so Daniel, what brought you to Living Waters? Two main issues stemming from an array of digestive disorders that would include bloating, gas trapped air, a regular bowel movement, things like that, of all kinds of digestion disorders, <coughs> and which would result in poor sleep and increased depression, anxiety, fatigue, low energy. I did routine doctor visits. When that didn't work out, uh, I would just put it in the back of my mind and then eventually that would lead me back to the ER where of course they would find nothing. It was x-ray after x-ray, blood test after blood test. Um, what, what are some of the medications that you tried? They, they resembled stronger uh, versions of antacids, reflux. There's one that controls the gas flow. I mean, it, uh, that was just for digestion and then they, of course they threw SSRIs at me for the uh, anxiety and, and they made they amplified it I mean it didn't do anything for me except make me feel worse and you had ultrasound ultrasounds I have routine PET scans I do for a separate autoimmune disease that I've had uh, di got diagnosed with in 2015 it was called a really rare one uh, Langerhans cell histiocytosis of the of the bones so it can go anywhere but this one chose to be in my bone about two cases per million so it's that rare and uh, I've been, I did six months of chemotherapy for that. That is also the sickest I've ever felt. The only time I saw progress, oddly enough, during the chemotherapy, because I did three separate sessions. The first session did nothing for me, and I think it lasted a month, five days a week, consecutive, needle in the arm, feeling like crap. It was called cytarabine. I went from eating, you know, normal two, three times a day, for me it was normal, to eating one gigantic meal, and just feeling like crap afterwards, nausea. My bowel movements were so slow, and the, of course the meds I was on were uh, for anti-nausea. All they did was constipate me, including the, uh, the hydrocodone that they were giving me for pain because of the illness itself, uh, the lesions. So, uh, the second session, I, I, my mother told me about a, a fruit called uh, this, in I believe in Spanish it's called guanabana, in English I think it's called soursop, and I just drank it as a juice while I was doing my therapy. Second session, comes and goes, same, same, uh, same things, I still feel like crap, uh, but uh, at least when, we got, when I got tested, he basically said most of the lesions are gone. And some of them are completely gone, and the bigger ones have been reduced to, to almost nothing. Then the third session, I ran out of this fruit, and it, was, it became just, I tried to look for it, I couldn't find it anymore. So I didn't have any, I did nothing but chemo again, all in vain, nothing changed whatsoever. In fact, some of them had to actually begun to grow up slightly more. And nothing has helped me since then, all, all they try to do is put in a, a bone density thing that protects the bone from getting any worse. And it's a drug of some sort. And, and the first time it sent me into a fever for like two days, and pain, awful pain. But apparently it protects your bones from further deterioration, strengthens them, I mean. Your day eight? Right. How are you feeling now? So my day eight feels like things are starting to stabilize much, much more. My body feels so much lighter. I've started to feel more energy. I've stopped my cravings for the horrible diet I had before. My body speaks to me more clearly, tells me what it wants, what it does not like. The, my, I mean, bowel movements seem very on a flow. I mean, they. Uh, it just seems easier to go, easier to eat. And what would you say your progress, when you came in, I mean, you had severe belching all the time. I can definitely put a, a solid number would be 50% reduced. And then sometimes it can be higher than that. The, the nature of it is such that it shows up in episodes, but they don't last longer than one or two hours. And that has, this, its frequency has been reduced by at least 60%. What are some of the tools that you learned here this week that were exciting for you? Well, Louisa Hay, uh, just starting with her, her intentions, the mirror work, telling yourself that you're beginning with that, because every problem, she's, she's convinced, and, and, and she's almost got me 99% convinced that, that every problem can begin with you being, not accepting yourself for who you are. You are uh, a gift. Your create your life is a gift. So your creation, whether that be from whatever source it may be, she tells you to love yourself in the mirror and look yourself straight in the eye 
and believe it, you know, get that emotion flowing. Because you can say it, and, but saying things won't just make it come true. You have to emotionally attach that and vibrate that out. That's something that I took from here uh, very, uh, very profoundly. Other tools, the, I don't know, the bio man, I mean, every time I get on that, it's just a great rest. I feel energized. It feels like something, it's, it's like something the body wants and needs. Other people have, there's a ton of reasons why people come here. I came on here out of necessity. And the reason it sticks is because of my experiences, because of how low I've been, because of the hell that is depression. I mean, I don't want to go back to that, you know. And so you, this place makes you feel like you are empowered. You have the ability to change yourself, and it begins with you, your actions, your thoughts, and your feelings. Uh, they all matter. Thank you, Living Waters, for what you've done and for what you will continue to do.